My name is Sarah Kluggish. I am the curator here at Sight Gallery. Sight is Sheffield's leading international contemporary art space. Um, we're located in the center of Sheffield, and we are incredibly pleased to be hosting an exhibition by Taiwanese artist Wu Chi Sung. This exhibition is titled Dust um, and is part of the Recalibrate Showcase generously made possible by Taiwan's Ministry of Culture. The showcase has taken place over the last year. It initially opened at the Center for Chinese Contemporary Art in Manchester, um, followed on to Leica and Peter Scott Gallery in Lancaster and is ending here at Site Gallery. This is the final iteration of the show. My name is Richard Smith. I'm the curator at Live at Leica. Uh, Live at Leica is a cross art form arts organisation. We're based at Lancaster University. We, uh, we commission, present and collect contemporary art. And we work on numerous projects and artist led initiatives. My name's Sarah Fisher and I'm the current director of the Centre for Chinese Contemporary Art here in Manchester. And we used to be called Chinese Art Centre and I have to mention that because many people know of our history. We have a 28 year history of working with artists uh, from, from China, from Hong Kong, from Taiwan, particularly from Taiwan. We've got a very strong relationship with Taiwan and Taiwanese artists. The Recalibrate programme uh, grew out of a set of ideas between the partners uh, to look at what was the best opportunity for artists. Um, we initially talked about what, what point in the artistic process that would happen, but we struck upon the idea of having uh, a series of exhibitions that didn't operate in exactly the same way as a traditional touring exhibition. Uh, the idea of this was that across the, the venues, the artists would get a greater uh, set of opportunities to present new and different work in unique contexts. So we were very lucky in the Recalibrate partnership that both Site Gallery and the Centre for Chinese Contemporary Art had actually hosted Wu Chi Sung as a resident artist. And so bringing him back to do his first UK solo shows through the Recalibrate programme made perfect sense. I think that's quite an exciting thing because it offers Wu Chi Sung the opportunity to look back at his development and his artistic career um, thus far and to revisit works that he may not have thought about or in fact seen um, for a while now. For our exhibition here, um, it was curated by Elizabeth Viviora who's had a, also had a huge history of working with Chi Sung, both in terms of the residency programme, and she's a specialist in Taiwanese contemporary art, and had visited earlier um, Taipei in the summer before the show, and discussed with Wu Chi Sung how he'd like to see his works here in the UK, and what works he'd like to show. So the first work that we have on view here at Site Gallery is Wu Chi Sung's Dust. This is a piece that was originally tested in 2006. Um, the technology used to produce it was developed uh, during Chi Sung's residency here at Site Gallery. You walk in just through a door behind me here, and the first thing that you're confronted with, I guess, is total darkness. And you might be a bit disoriented. And slowly, as your eyes start to adjust um, to this void, if you look to your right, you see um, one wall with a large projection washed across it, and you start to make up these tiny um, particles, or what you come to recognize as dust, which are actually swirling uh, in a really mesmerizing fashion on the screen. It works at once. Um, it's both random and feels very controlled. So it offers a kind of meditative contemplative experience for the viewer. At the Story Gallery we presented Crystal City 4, which was a new commission for the Recalibrate program. Uh, Chi Sung sees it as a presentation of the invisible world that surrounds us all the time. Things like technology, uh, the, the growing spaces around us that aren't necessarily visible, but he allows people to experience that and can touch upon it in a physical way, which is a really exciting thing. The second piece on view is Crystal City 3, which is shown in our adjacent gallery. Uh, the viewer walks from this really dark black void into, um, into a room that feels 
luminous and light and sees a number of plastic boxes um, stacked in a configuration that might um, be akin to a cityscape or um, a kind of urban, mini urban plan. And then there's a light on a track which moves in one very controlled motion back and forth from one end of the room to the other. And as it does this, the light is pointed at these stacked plastic boxes and it projects a really, um, again, wondrous, mesmerizing, luminous pattern. What you see is essentially a shifting cityscape and, and the projection is textured, if you can say that a, a light projection has texture. At uh, the Centre for Chinese Contemporary Art, we showed uh, two series of works. One was a new commission of the Crystal City. And unlike previous Crystal Cities, um, this was built in the round. So we, built, we had to build a round room to house the work, uh, which is incredible in terms of atmosphere. Um, so as uh, it's, it's a, a piece of work which exists within the whole space and people are allowed to walk into the space and actually move elements of the works around. It's made up of small transparent plastic boxes which are arranged to look like uh, tower blocks. So it looks like a city. We also presented uh, Wire 2 which is from a series of works that has been internationally acclaimed. Um, what the work we presented um, was really effective in sort of creating a sense of a very slow moving and infinite landscape that you could really get lost in. But as with a lot of Chi, uh, Wu Chi Sung's work, um, the, the kind of mechanism, the apparatus that made that infinite landscape appear was in the space with you. So the, a kind of a, a moment was created and kind of broken down at the same time. The other piece of work that we had in was a, a series called Wrinkled Textures, which are um, cyanotypes, cyanotype photographic works. And what Wu Chi Sung does is he crinkles uh, photographic paper and exposes it to the light. And he might actually, through this process, expose a lot of, a lot of sheets of paper to the light and then only a certain number of them he'll then choose to make these images which really look like, um, they look like traditional sacred mountains. I think one of the most important things for me personally about Chi Sung's work is to balance the need for the light in the work to be able to speak. That seems like a slightly odd thing to say, but much of his work deals with light, everything from the cyanotypes through to uh, Wire 2, which is a, a, an illuminated work, to the projections, to Crystal City. Everything has that need, and I think when you're working within a gallery space with that type of work, there's a great opportunity for to create drama with the work, but then also there's a, a need to be sensitive to that work and create balance in the space. We've realized uh, that our audiences have just responded so strongly to the show. People are coming not once, but they're coming again and again to sit, um, even just on their lunch break, and spend time with the exhibition, which is a huge coup. I mean, to get um, our more general audiences interested in the show and really involved and attached is a great feeling. So the range of the partners uh, across the whole project was really important uh, to enable everything to happen and that included local partners but then more importantly international partners and it's through the support of people like Taiwan's Ministry of Culture um, that people like, uh, well Chi Sung himself in fact, the artist was able to come and speak to us and the audience directly and that gave a far deeper and kind of meaningful layer of interpretation for Taiwan and, and one of its artists than we could have ever provided without that support. I think it makes a very real difference um, for the artists to develop relationships with cities here in the UK and with curators here in the UK and with audiences here in the UK if the artist is able to come himself. Now we are very fortunate with Ru Chi Sung. Not all artists are very good at talking about their work or very um, easy in terms of talking to the general public about their work. But Wu Chi Sung has a great facility in terms of talking about his work and also He's a very amiable 
person. So he did spend, I actually had t trouble dragging him away to a meal in Lancaster because he wanted to talk to some students at the Private View event. And he's very interested, particularly in young people's work and the development of their work, and very ready um, to, to stand and talk to as many people as possible about their work and his work. So he's the kind of artist where this level of exchange um, has other added benefits, both to younger artists in the UK, uh, but also to critics and curators that are interested in working with artists because he's incredibly generous with his time. Without Taiwan's Ministry of Culture's support um, and encouragement, this exhibition definitely wouldn't have been possible for us. I mean, they really largely enabled um, Wu Chi Sung to come here to Sheffield to spend some time with us. Uh, the first night he was here, actually, he gave a pack talk to a group um, of local university students and went through the development of his practice from the very beginning up to the present day um, and spent some time thinking into the future, which is a really valuable thing for him to do as an artist. It helps him to crystallize some of his ideas, I imagine, but it's also incredibly valuable for us as an organization um, and for our audiences. The public response to the exhibitions was really exceptional, actually. Um, we had interest not only from the general public, but also the media. Uh, Chi Sung and myself ended up doing an interview with the BBC. Uh, we had a number of other people talking to us as well. And um, I've just brought along some quotes because I thought it might be of interest. One in particular, um, absolutely haunting. I would have liked some hours to spend with these artworks. A completely satisfying experience, intellectually and artistically, as well as emotionally. Touching something very deep within the self. So glad I came here today.